great time to go over to the river and to fish using creek chubs. And so I'm gonna get a setup ready here to just toss in a local creek and see if we can catch some creek chubs overnight. So I'm gonna use bread in just a round torpedo trap. We're gonna throw it in the bank. We're gonna leave it overnight. We'll come back and we'll check it tomorrow morning before we go and we'll see what we've got. So stick with us. So real simple, I'm just gonna put my two pieces of bread in there. I'm gonna come in and loop this back together. And I'm ready to go down and throw it in the creek, so I'll show you that process. Okay, so I'm down at the creek. I got my minnow trap ready. Right here, I got a nice deep hole. You can kind of see I got a culvert over here to my right. I got a nice deep hole and then it goes down and it actually narrows down down below me and uh so this would be a really good spot so i'm just gonna take this i'm gonna throw it out as far as i can get it and then i'm gonna find something on shore just hook it off to there's a couple of branches And then I'll let that, see it right down there, I'll let that soak overnight. And uh, we'll come back and we'll check it in the morning. Okay, we're gonna go down and check our minnow trap. It's right away in the morning, uh, about six o'clock in the morning and we're gonna head out fishing today. So we'll make our way down here to the trap. slick getting in here a little wet this morning so we're gonna have to be kind of careful careful in here there we go Find a spot to put that okay let's go see see we got a couple in there to fall in the creek. All right, so we can see we got some creek chubs in there, so we're gonna release them into here. And when I get all situated, I'll uh, I'll show you how many we got. Okay, so maybe a little bit hard to see here, but I ended up with a dozen creek chubs. Probably got them anywhere from three inches up to six, seven inches. Uh, in this group so pretty successful we'll go back now and we'll prep our our bait cooler that we're going to take today and get that ready to go I'll show you how that's done okay so first things first when I get ready to go for the day I will grab the g-juice and I'll make sure I put a little bit of that in the bait cooler I've been told you don't want to store things in here long term but I'll dump that in there just like that You'll see the color start to change. The reason that I do that is because I'm filling with fresh water out of the tap, so it's chlorinated, um, which will kill these creek chubs almost instantaneously, so that little bit of treatment keeps them alive. And then from there, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna scoop them out of here, and dump them in, and then we'll be ready to go for the day. I'll uh, try to put some footage together and catch some fish with these same creek chubs. 